Happy New Year, Kayhawks! We hope last Monday's video gave you some good advice and information on how to make sure this semester is a success for you here at Collinsville High School. Today, we want to share some more tips on ways to make this the best semester it can be for you. Whatever learning situation we find ourselves in and whatever challenges you face, know that we're all in this together and that the teachers and staff here at CHS are here to help you. Teachers from every department made videos with suggestions on how to do your best in each of your classes. As you watch this video today, what advice is repeated over and over and over again from every department? And what are some specific tips to follow in some individual departments here at CHS? And most importantly, what can you do to be sure this is the best semester it can be for you here at CHS? Keep watching, Kayhawks and find out. Everybody. When you do an assignment on Google Classroom, don't forget to always turn it in on time. All right, hello Kayhawks. Hey, we, the Social Studies Department, are here to tell you what it takes to be successful in a social studies class. To be successful in social studies, check Google Classroom every day. If you wanna know what the assignment is, check Google Classroom. If you wanna know if you're missing an assignment, check Google Classroom. Don't forget to study for every test. Teachers are real good about giving you study guides. Make sure you guys look those over and get the right answers. You gotta fight through and get it completed and don't forget to turn it in! It doesn't matter if you're in Costa Rica. Oh wait, no, that's not Costa Rica. It doesn't matter if you're in Arabia. It doesn't matter if you're in Australia. If you have a question about your assignment, you don't know how to do it, email your teacher. They will answer the question for you. Check your email. Have a wonderful sense of humor. Whatever these people said. If you have a week, maybe two, to work on an assignment, use that entire week. Don't procrastinate. If you have a project that you have several days to work on, don't wait till the last minute. Don't be a procrastinator, especially in English class. Reach out to your teachers and ask for that help. Make sure you tell your teachers what's going on. Talk to your teachers. That is the number one thing. Attend any Google Meets that your teacher has. Attend your Google Meets. 
go to all your Google Meets. That's the main idea. Try going to bed before midnight. That starts with getting up early every day and so that you're awake, so that you can go to the meets. Uh, keep a schedule to have a place where you do work um, in a time when you do it. Read any special instructions that your teacher has posted there before you open the attachment. And if your teacher gives you time to work on something in class, please use it, right? Use your time wisely. Do it earlier rather than later so you don't put yourself in a tough spot. That is my advice. Hi Hawks, it's Mrs. Arnold from the business department. I'm here to talk to you today to give you some tips on how to be successful in your business classes. Number one, join Google Meets. During Google Meets, the teachers in the business department are gonna work through lessons with you. They're gonna give you step-by-step -step directions on how to do things in some of the different software programs that we work with. Now, for many of these classes, there is not a textbook for you to go back and find the information in. So it's very important that you join these Google Meets and that you work along and ask questions so that the teachers can make sure they get all the content to you. Number two, stay caught up. The lessons that you are going to be completing are going to build upon themselves. For example, the information that you learn in class on Tuesday and Wednesday, you're going to be using on Thursday and Friday's lessons. So it's really important that you stay caught up. If you don't, you can't really hop back in with the class at their current location because the content that was learned on the previous days is going to be being used in that day's lessons. So by staying caught up, you're really going to be helping yourself um, in two different ways. First of all, the content's going to make much more sense to you. But secondly, it's really going to alleviate a lot of stress. Number three, check emails daily. Your teachers are going to be communicating with you two different ways, by posting things on Google Classroom and by emailing you. Now, if they're emailing you, it's probably a message that's directed just towards you. So it's very important for you to make sure that you're checking your email daily and looking for any messages from your teachers. And number four, stay organized. Now, when we're talking about staying organized, we're really talking about two different things your time management, and then your organization as far as your assignments. Now for your time management, make sure that you know your Google Meet schedule and make sure also that you are scheduling time outside of those Google Meets in order to complete all of your work. Now, as far as your work organization, we really recommend that you keep some sort of written agenda where you're writing down due dates for assignments and other information pertaining to each one. Now, if you follow these tips, we feel that you can be successful in any of our business classes, and we really look forward to working with you. Hola! Salute! Guten Tag! Bonjour! Welcome back, K-Hawks! Here are some tips from your World Language Department to help you have a successful semester two in your Spanish, Latin, German, or French class. As I'm sure you all know, face-to-face -face time with your teachers is of the utmost importance. Please make sure that you are signing into Google Meets every single day so that you can hear instruction, do activities together, and get your participation points. Be sure to pull up your weekly agenda and or Google Classroom and complete your assignments each and every day. Your teachers will be working on some of those assignments with you in class, so therefore it is important that you sign into those Google Meets like we said. It is your responsibility to make sure that all assignments are turned in by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Set aside some time each and every day to read and respond to your email messages. Sometimes there's some really important information in there. Make it a habit to check Skyward at least once a week. If you're seeing any missing assignments listed, make sure you get on those right away. Don't let your work pile up. Remember K-Hawks, if you find yourself getting stuck, all you have to do is ask for help and we would be happy to lend you a hand. It's actually what we do best.
from all of us in the World Language Department. We are wishing you the very best semester to ever. Have a great rest of the year, Kayhawks. Adios. Hi, Kayhawks. Coach Anderson here. I'm here to share some uh, tips on how you can be successful in physical education during the second semester of school. To do this, we're going to talk to some of the PE teachers, but I have to warn you first, this year's been pretty crazy and it's kind of rubbing off on some of the teachers. So bear with them if they seem a little bit off. Okay. First, we'll come down the hallway here. Ms. Kolda, Ms. Gruberhuster, do you have any tips to share with the students? Yes, get on your Google Meets. Oh, I think my teacher's having one today. Thank you. Coach, Coach Blaha, you all right? Hey, don't forget to set your alarm. Good tip. Coach Curry. Uh, all right, we'll come back to Coach Curry. He's busy. Coach Frecker. Be sure you get on Google Classroom and submit your assignments and attendance. Coach Beavis. Make sure you get your workouts in daily. That way you're ready for when the aliens attack. All right, good advice, good advice. Miss Yvonne. What's Hi! It? Hey, make sure you check your assignments. Do the assignment and don't forget to hit submit because I'm really having a hard time seeing in here. So don't you have a hard time seeing those assignments? All right, good advice. Thank you. And we'll check it. Coach Curry. Oh, okay. Well, there you have it, kids. If you follow these tips, you can have a successful second semester in PE class. All right. Thanks for watching. Hello, CHS. Just want to talk a little about the math department's ideas for being successful in math. So there's only three things. Number one, to show up. Uh, that means show up to class if you're coming to school. If you're not coming to school on that day or if you're fully remote, your Google Meets, your videos, whatever comes out in the Google Classroom, if you show up, that's the first thing. Second thing is, this is probably the most important thing, do your homework. Um, you have to do math to learn math. And we also think after you do your homework, it'd be good if you turn it in. That way you'll get credit for it. This is probably the most important thing. I tell all my students, if you do your homework regularly, you'll be happy with your grade at the end of the semester. And I don't think there's ever been a case where that hasn't been true. And the third thing is, ask questions. You're not gonna understand everything. In fact, you're probably not gonna understand most things when it's first presented. So ask questions, you're gonna get answers for those. That's one of the reasons I like math. It's one of the reasons I was a math major in college. When you ask the teacher a question, you get an answer. Now, there are some things that you do not need to do to be successful in math. You definitely do not need to be a math guru. There's only one guru allowed per room anyway, right? You don't need to know everything about math. And the third thing is you don't even need to love math. Of course you should love math. How can you not love math? But you don't need to love math. So you don't need to be great at anything in math to be successful in math. But if you'll do these things here, these three things, show up, do your homework, and ask questions, you will be successful in math and be happy with your grade at the end of the semester. I think the kids are really gonna like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that on Google Classroom. I wonder what work I have today. Miss Custer, what? This is stupid. I'm just gonna submit it. Oh, okay, Mr. Wright turned in, let's see. Oh, I see you. That's not funny. You didn't actually do it. Don't submit blank documents. I can't give you a grade. I'm gonna send it back with a zero.
All right, everybody, um, I want to take the first five minutes of class to let you fill out the uh, Google Forms that I have posted on Classroom. So if you can do that, um, I'll set an alarm after the five minutes for you to come back and we'll start our lecture. Oh, interesting. Among us. Okay, yeah, that's cool, but that that's not what I want you to be doing. So I'm just going to send a little message here. <sighs> What's the what? Fine arts. Okay, um, oh come on, Miss Custer. How am I supposed to get better at this game? God, fine. I'm coming to class. All right. Definitely not gonna do that bell ringer. everybody hopefully you enjoyed our little skit this is miss custer and mr wright uh, just kind of going through what we expect as a fine arts department and from you um, and as we go through uh, some things might get adjusted as we go between remote and hybrid but some things stay the same miss custer what do you expect remember to come to your google meets every day tuesday wednesday thursday friday it isn't just whenever you want to come to the Google Meet, you have to come so you can learn the content. We will be taking attendance every day for every class. Make sure you sign in or talk to us so we know you're there. And secondly, make sure you're always turning in actual assignments. Believe it or not, we can see when you turn in something blank. We expect you to turn it in fully completed if you want any credit for the assignment. We do check them, and I always respond back with a zero and put a nice little private comment that tells you to please do your work correctly and resubmit it for credit. We hope you guys had a wonderful break, and we're excited to get back to work. Oh, hey, guys. Well, I'm just uh, doing a little work here in the shop. Uh, relax. We're on Christmas break, so I'm not going to do a lesson. But I do want to talk about next semester, how we can maybe improve on things a little bit. Um, in the industrial department, I think we would all, we all agree that you have to work hard, both when you're here and when we're remote. You have to show up. You have to show up to your meets and you have to show up to class every day and be ready to work. We're starting a new semester. Let's not get behind. Once you're behind, it's so much harder to get caught back up. Let's stop making excuses. Everybody has an excuse. And I know it's not ideal to learn like this, especially in our hands-on type classes. But we're making the best of it, and if you want to learn, you'll find a way, not an excuse. If you're not responsible for your education, who is? Lastly, if you're taking these classes or you had maybe a one hour class, if you're a freshman or a sophomore, taking an industrial arts class, a lot of students changes their whole educational experience for them. If you fail a bunch of these classes, guys, you're not going to be able to take these classes. So you need to start thinking about your future, and I wish you the very best second semester. Good luck. Hey kids, Miss K here, Rep and Science Department. Whoa, whoa. Got a couple videos for you to watch. Let's see if you can spot the difference of which kid's going to be more successful during hybrid and remote learning. <sighs> Yeah. Susie, what are you doing? What is in your hand? Look, listen, 
I tried, okay? I can't. You know, do I need I to can't. take that to work with me? No. We've talked about this. We have talked about this. Your I grades know. are going to be so bad this semester again. I know. I don't know where to go look, or what to do. Look, we talked about it right here. You just clicked the Google Meet at the time. And look, you're already late for your first hour. Well, then why should I Did go? Did you sleep in past your alarm again? I might as well not even go. Oh. Are you... Okay. Okay. Fine. I'm, All right. I'm on it. All right. Let's do it. I believe you. I... Okay. Well, you need a light on. All right. This was the next lecture. Oh, can cause disease if they start to um, grow uncontrollably yeah, or they can make you sick. So when we're trying to figure out which bacteria we're looking at, they're bad, we gotta first um, kind of classify them. So we use three different characteristics to classify them. We classify them based on classify their shape. Those. Then Ooh. Oh. I do. I do have a question. Can you answer it before we go? That you should have gotten from those videos to be successful this semester. First, make sure you're setting your alarm. Give yourself enough time to fully wake up so that way you can grab a bite to eat and set up your workstation before you need to get started. Next, plan to join the meet every day. Get on there participate, get engaged with what's going on on the daily lessons. And if for some reason you can't join, let your teacher know in advance so that way they re can record the meet or set up a time to catch you up later. Make sure you're taking notes. So follow along with the teacher and write down whatever you think might be important or fill in your note packets as you go. Lastly, ask questions. If you get confused or you're not sure what's going on, let the teacher know. You can ask during the Google Meet or you can use the chat feature to put a question in there. Maybe you might have a question after the lesson's over, so you can send an email or text them through Remind. There are various ways for you to get a hold of your teacher, so that way you can get extra help when you get a little confused. If we work together, we can ensure your academic success for this spring semester. So I wish everyone luck. Okay, I think this is a library right here. Somebody said media center. All right, let me go. Okay, here's the library right there. Awesome. Oh, there's a lady. I can ask where the writing center is. Ma'am, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am, could you tell me where the writing center is? If you turn that direction, you will see the writing center. Oh, right there? You're right in front of you. Thank you. Perfect. Have a good day. Writing center. That's awesome. Mr. Curley, oh. welcome to the writing center. Here you can get help with writing in all of your classes awesome. and more. It is available every hour except first hour and virtually. Hi, how are you today? I'm doing good. Hey, um, I'm doing a uh, doing a research paper in my civics class, and I need to find a book. Um, and, but my research is going to be, uh, I think I chose uh, Thurgood Marshall. Well, let me, let me see what we have about them okay. right here. Well, let's see. 
Here we go. It is in the 920 MAR. MAR. And here it is. There oh, you go. Thank you. That's awesome. This is really going to help me. Hola, girlie. ¿Cómo estás? Tengo mucho tiempo sin verte. <laughs> My mother's doing fine. He really needs tutoring. If you need world language tutoring, ask your study hall for a pass. Man, this is too confusing. I can't do it. You know what? We're just going to TikTok. That's what we're going to do. TikTok it is. I'm in a Christmas spirit. Let's go. Mr. Gurley, what are you doing? What? I'm TikToking. Why you? You know when you don't understand stuff, you're supposed to contact your teacher for help, create a study group with your friends, or use one of our many tutoring resources. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. I thought I'm supposed to be TikToking. No, you gotta go to tutoring. Well, if I do that, can you TikTok with me? Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. TikTok with the Mr. Girl. Hey, Kayhawks, my name is Coach Smith. I'm the Athletic Director at Collinsville High School. Welcome back to a new semester at CHS. A new semester is a time to start fresh, a time to start clean, and a time to say goodbye to 2020. The new year of 2021 brings many opportunities for our students and staff here at CHS. Stay involved in your classes. Whether we're learning online or we're in person at the high school learning, attend your Google Meets, attend your classes, and stay in constant communication with your teachers and your friends. Get involved in athletics. We have over 20 athletic teams offered for both boys and girls here at the high school. Many of our sports haven't even begun to have their seasons yet. We're hoping with a new year that we'll be able to get these sports off the ground and get playing. You can find all of our sports and contacts for all of our coaches on our CHS athletic website. Not into sports? How about joining a club or getting involved in activity? We have so many clubs and activities, it's hard for me to name them all. You can look in your student handbook and find an entire list of all the clubs and activities that we offer. Need help with those clubs and activities? Ask me, ask a teacher, or ask an administrator here at the high school. We'll be happy to help you. Stay involved with our community. There are many ways to give back to our community and surrounding areas. It'll make you feel better. And in closing, we're excited to have you back here at Collinsville High School for the start of our 2021 new year. Don't forget, Chaos, every Friday, wear your purple, and don't be afraid to cheer loud for the Chaos. Go Chaos!